All right, everyone. So today we're going to be learning how to run our own validator node uh, with the help of on finality. You don't need any additional hardware for this, uh, and the technical skills required are not very high. On finality does a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. First, you want to create uh, an on finality account. Uh, so you want to log in or sign up. Once you've logged in, this is the dashboard. Uh, you want to go to dedicated nodes and you want to deploy a new node. So here you'll see a lot of the different networks uh, that you can deploy a node in. Scroll down to find Polkadex. There it is. And you select Polkadex. And now you can actually start setting up your node. So I'm going to say Pablo test. Uh, and then what what kind of node you want to have so i'm going to say validator node and then you can scroll through the the image version uh, you'll see cloud providers uh, so you can select which one you want and the region that you want and then you'll see the actual configuration of the node so the size of the node and the storage and for this part here, you might want to check out the GitHub guide to see exactly what your uh, configuration should be. So here we see that an eight unit CPU is recommended and that around 80 to 160 gigabytes are uh, okay in terms of storage for the next six months. So let's go back to on finality and make those selections and see how that changes the price estimate on, on finality. So as you can see, as you add more units, the price is a little bit higher and the same thing happens with storage size as you increase the storage size. So these are just some things to take into account when seeing if it's worth uh, running your own node or not. You can also see that the providers uh, change depending on your configuration as some options may not be available. Once you fully set up your node, click next to continue the process and you'll see the launch configuration screen. You can just click next through that and then you'll see a confirmation of your node setup and the pricing. If you're ready to proceed, uh, continue to the next step and add your payment details. And once you've added your payment details, you'll have successfully deployed the node and you'll see its status as initializing and in the meantime you can move on to the next step which is going to be generating the session keys uh, this step is going to associate your validator node with your account on polkadex uh, so let's look at how that works so for this part of the process you first have to make sure that your polka.js app explorer is attached to your validator node so you want to go back to on finality and then click the api endpoints button and copy the web socket and then you want to go to the polkadex uh, main network on polka.js and then click on development and select a custom endpoint and paste the WebSocket that you copied from on finality. Once you're connected, you can go on to the next step, which is submitting the extrinsic. If you want to check whether it's connected or not, just go back to polka.js and you'll see on the top left corner uh, that it's connected to the custom endpoint. So next you want to set the session keys for your node. And to do that, we go back to polka.js and we go to developer and then our PC calls. calls. And here you're gonna want to do an author and then a rotate keys call. And if you wanna track the process or just make sure you're doing the right thing, you can go back to the GitHub guide and that's how it looks there. Keys. Uh, you can go back to polka.js and submit the RPC call. 
and that's when you'll get the keys. So what you want to do is you want to copy these keys and keep them somewhere safe because you're going to need them in a minute. The next step we want to take is to go to staking and then account actions and set up a validator stash. So first you decide how much PDEX you want to bond and then you might have to sign and authorize the transaction from your wallet or from the Polkadot.js interface. And once that's done, you'll see that there's a session key button in your new uh, stash. So click on the session key button and then you want to paste the keys that you copied in the previous step uh, from the rotate keys RPC call. So paste those, uh, set session key, and then you want to sign and submit again. And there it is. So now that button has turned into a validate button, which means you can start validating. So the first thing you want to do is select the percentage commission that your validator is going to take from your nominator's rewards. So for this, I'm just going to select one percentage point as my commission in the hopes that I get a lot of nominations. Okay, so I sign and submit that. And there it is. So now it's showing my validator with the session keys and my commission. So that's your validator all set up and running. And if you want to check, you can even go to another browser and go to staking and go to waiting. And that's where you'll see all the validators that are waiting to make it to the active set. And you'll see my validator there uh, with that address. I don't have an identity yet because I don't have enough unlocked tokens, but I will set an identity in the future once I do. So just to show you, I can go back to my account and show that it's the same address which is just to prove to you that my validator is live and running uh, and it's accepting nominations. In fact, here's me telling the Discord community that my validator is up and that anybody can nominate me. Uh, I'm also adding my validator address to my Discord profile in case any community members uh, want to nominate me just to make it easier for them and easier for them to reach out to me. The great thing about on finality is not only that you don't have to actually own any of the equipment or hardware needed to run a validator, which means you basically pay as you go, but also you have all these tools to track uh, kind of your, your CPU usage, the memory usage, the storage, um, what the last block was, uh, if your validator synced, Basically just a dashboard with everything you need to know about your node in one place. So that's how easy on finality makes running a Polkadex validator node. I hope you found this video as helpful as possible. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or join the Polkadex Discord server where all the other awesome Polkadexers will be able to help you out.